guys. Welcome to Sea Life Melbourne Aquarium. You will begin your under the sea adventure at the Bay of Grace. There's a crawl through area allowing kids to pop their head into the tank from underneath and have a look around. Next up, you will find the Coral Atoll, a floor-to-ceiling fish bowl host to a huge range of colorful fish and coral. The best bit though, the on-site restaurant looks right at it. It's not every day you can say you dine under the sea. Try and spot the Southern Blue Tang Akadori from Finding Nemo. I've never seen yeah. it. Me too. <laughs> This discover rock pools, you can just tell the young ones to get their hands wet and learning about marine life. This area is a coral caves, a kaleidoscope of colors seriously both in fish and coral. Wandering through the coral caves, you'll be presented by the famous Nemo or as they're really called clownfish. Heading to Crocklair. Do you want more?
one of the crawl through area that you can find in sea life allowing kids to pop their head into the tank from underneath and have a look around what's in there So we're here in Croclair. One of the most surprising aspects of the aquarium is the enormous crocodile lair, home to Pinjara, one of Australia's largest saltwater crocodiles. Welcome to the Rainforest Adventure! We're here in Sea Life Adventure. Look, I'm on. Here in the Rainforest Adventure, you will suddenly feel like you are in the middle oh, wow. of the rainforest. Lush tropical plants grow and the big bilabong or lagoons fills much of the space. In this area, you will find all number of rainforest animals from turtles to snakes, lizards, frogs, and more.
Yeah, we're gonna go there. Yeah, we're gonna go there. It's no surprise what curious creatures you will find in Seahorse Pier. Welcome to Penguin Playground! Another standout section is the massive Antarctic exhibit, Penguin Playground. This large icy enclosure is full of the majestic king and gentoo penguins who slide around on the snow-covered ice. They also have a large pool to show off all their tricks, twisting and twirling through the water.
So this is the Sea Life Melbourne map. So we're here in Mermaid Garden. Once you reach the massive 2.2 million liter oceanarium, you'll feel like an underwater creature yourself as you walk through the glass viewing tunnels and come face to face with enormous sharks, stingrays, and a plethora of multicolored fish. You'll even spot the scary looking gray nurse and sawtooth shark. So that's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.